So we are getting loaded up for family vacation. How many skis do you think you got in here? Oh, wow. Roughly quite a few. Probably show the production line, the production line of uh, <laughs> peanut BB butter and jellies. You still have their safety glasses on. <laughs> Safety first. Safety first. Right. That's well, crunchy peanut, peanut butter. Yeah, that's crunchy peanut butter. <laughs> that's going on the vlog. <laughs> we are Shaggy Scapper Country Skis. Skiing isn't just a sport to us, it's a way of life. Building skis turned our passion for skiing into a livelihood for our family. Follow along to get a glimpse into our small ski company. So we are on the road to Shaggy's family vacation. I am car two. We got Stephanie here, Mike and Codfish in the back. Codfish. Baby in the belly. My parents, John and Sherry, are a couple hours ahead of us. They're already over the bridge. We've got Ryan and Kelsey behind us. Maybe you can see the uh, orange Jeep behind us there. Um, Chad and Jen coming later. Spencer and Jenna later. Um, Logan and Seth. Dan's coming tomorrow. We're gonna meet a whole bunch of friends and customers up there. Um, yeah, and now we are. We're cruising through Petoskey. We got Lake Michigan there. Little Traverse Bay. So we are approaching the Mackinac Bridge. We're gonna to turn to AM 530 to hear our updates. About 20 miles per hour. Turn on your four-way flasher and utilize the outside Apparently there's some wind on the bridge. Are blowing across the surface of the bridge. Please exercise appropriate caution. The Mackinac Bridge Authority is monitoring wind speeds at various points along the structure. Additional steps will be implemented if conditions change. So we are coming up to the Mighty Mac right now. We have Stephanie still in the car, Mike still in the back seat, Ryan and Kelsey behind us, and me. And the baby Thompson. And the baby. <laughs> Baby's first family vacation. It's Shaggy's Vlog, episode 15, trip to Mount Bohemia. Not much ice on the water today. Uh, the lakes are not frozen over yet. So, over on the right-hand side, we have Mackinac Island. We're getting closer to the towers of the Mackinac Bridge. I guess we gotta slow down, we were going 52. I guess we gotta go 45. My mistake. <laughs> Sorry, I slowed it down. <laughs> One of my favorite things is driving over the grates on the bridge because it sings to you. Cool shot. Put out the window and view it down the grates. Uh. <laughs> do it, you won't. You put the wrist strap on if you're gonna do that. I don't. Let's give it to Mike if he's gonna do it. Video tips with Jeff and Mike. When you stick the GoPro out the window, make sure there's a strap on the handle. Uh, currently, so we're going over the Mackinac Bridge. Our fingers. This is just a uh, just the beginning of things to come. <clears throat> We're hoping for lots of snow. 
we got some new skis to test out, so we're gonna kind of require it. I think every every uh, little bit further we go, there's a little bit more and more snow. We're cruising down US 2 with a plow truck driving 30 miles an hour, barely, and uh, it's really clogging up. We got quite the line of traffic behind us. Mike, what are you currently doing? Uh, informing Ryan he needs to turn his uh, headlights on. Probably on a again. napkin. On a napkin. Four hours and 44 minutes left. So that just happened. Just got passed by a uh, flatbed hauling another truck. We are going kind of slow behind this Honda here. But we still have Ryan and Kelsey behind us. Mike is still in the back seat. Yep. Stephanie is sleeping. We are cruising through Marquette currently. Popping into the city limits right about now. We got Lake Superior there. Oh, she's beaut. World's largest freshwater lake. I'm just gonna go ahead and say world's largest lake because if it's not freshwater, it's not a lake. So there's a few snow banks here. About as tall as the truck. We are in Nagani currently, and we're about two hours out. We'll be there soon. Pasties first. So we have about 45 minutes left until we are in Houghton. Stop and grab a uh, pasty at Roy's, as long as they're open. And, uh, and then we'll be on to Bohemia, kind of back into into the homeland. We are going to be driving right through Kearsarge where everything started. It's where my great grand uncle Shaggy used to carve skis by hand and uh, we actually still, my aunt currently lives in the uh, house that my grandma and great grandma lived in and uh, yeah, so it's pretty cool. We will, uh, if there's some light, we'll show you the, the stone boat in the park there modeled after the USS Kearsarge and which is actually named after Mount Kearsarge. So there's a whole bunch of history. And we even have a say, uh, ski named after it, the Sarge 95. Um, so we're pretty cool. We're gonna drive through Amik too. We are not gonna go through Hubble because it would take us a little bit longer. We would go then through Lake Linden and over to Gay and around Lac La Belle over to Bohemia. So we're gonna kind of cut straight up the middle of the queue and off, but we'll go through Phoenix and Amique and Kearsarge and Calumet, Delaware, and uh, then we'll head over. Looking forward to it. We're almost to Alberta. Actually, we're pretty much in Alberta. Oh, there's a sign for it. Um, here's where the Michigan Tech Forestry students come in the fall every year and do a forestry program. It's a Ford forest center or something like that and it used to be an old sawmill so pretty cool history the more you know we are coming into Houghton officially we're about five miles out from our turn on to uh, to stay on 41 Dave the legend Dave from Minnesota has already uh, linked up with my dad John and my mother Sherry's getting everyone checked in and getting ready for Shaggy's family vacation 2020. Can I get a woo? Woo! <laughs> We're rolling in Houghton. You can see the lights of uh, Mount Ripley up here on the right hand side. Coming up, my old apartment, Stephanie's old apartment's on the right. Mine was not so nice in this old motel on the left. And uh, live there? oh yeah, in the basement. Spiders. Lots of spiders. Stephanie doesn't need brand new places down there. Oh, I also lived sure. up the hill. Um, and we just had a ton of fun here. We are in Houghton. We're in the city limits. The snow banks are high. We're ready for lots of snow. I'm going to pretty soon hand over the camera to Stephanie. So I can concentrate on driving while she films. Okay, vloggers. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, you're not really vloggers. You're viewers, viewers of the vlog. <laughs> Look at it, it's Mount Ripley. And we are coming up on Mount Ripley. As you can see there. Looks like some great skin. Uh, no, you can't really quite see it yet. Once we get closer. Just a lot of lights. Pulling through Michigan, Michigan Tech. Tech. Well, Stephanie and I went here. We did mechanical engineering. Yes. Stephanie did... We are Michigan Tech alum. Stephanie's a, a chemical engineer in here. Looks like we have some students crossing at 41 right now. Can't really see them, but the daily occurrence. Where do you know? Maybe we library. will see some broom. Oh, there's a broom yeah. ball game going on. Broom ball. Not a whole lot of. Uh, well, there's mama's boys. <laughs> uh, not a whole lot of an audience tonight. But I guess it is six o'clock on a. Wednesday. Snow statues are being built. What are those being built for, hon? Winter Carnival. So check out over on our right hand side, you got Mount Ripley kind of towering over everything. Over on the opposite side of the canal. It's Hancock, but it's really Ripley, Michigan. Check it out here, there's some statues going on. They got caution tape. Hold up. Snow banks, snow banks, snow banks. It's a little bit warm here. Let's see what the actual truck temperature is, not Google's temperature. It's 30 degrees. We got somebody calling in. John Mon. John Mon, you're on the vlog. <laughs> yo, yo. You guys make it safe. Yeah, we are in Houghton currently. Oh, you're in Houghton. Okay. Yep. I just saw your dad. Um, Good. He was saying that it sounds like you guys are gonna do like bug loading and whatnot tomorrow. Yeah, in the morning. Okay, cool. All the so, skis. Okay. Yeah, I mean, unless everyone so feels. I just went out with the camera and it was it was rough trying to get anything it's so dark. There's no way. Yeah. So we'll hit the ground running tomorrow in the morning. So. Okay. Let's hope um, that I have my dinner set for 7:30, which is the last one. Okay. So maybe I'll catch you down there when you guys show up. Yeah, we're going to get dinner right now. Oh. Cool. Um, who am I sleeping with, Dan? Dan, but he's not going to be there tonight. Turn left onto Isle Royale Street. Mike. All right, we'll drive safe and we'll see you. Yeah, we'll see you there. We'll come and knock on your thing. We are cruising through the lower depths of Houghton. We've got the library restaurant there and brewery. Turn right onto Sheldon Avenue. This is where you can hop on a boat to Isle Royal, or they now have a seaplane that flies out of the portage. There's a sign for it right there. That's pretty cool. That flies out here all the time. So we're cruising through the parking deck, underneath the parking deck. And it's pretty cool to see the decorations. They were festive for Christmas. And just the winter, I think. And the infamous lift bridge. There it is. That is the world's heaviest lift bridge. Used to have trains that ran on the bottom. Don't do that anymore. But now they lower the bottom deck so that snowmobiles can cross in the winter. It's uh, pretty cool. You drive on the top, they have a nice soft mat so that you don't tear up your sled. And, uh, I think there's some snowmobilers coming across there right now. And Roy's may close at 6. <laughs> Not 100% sure. Hey, there's Lonnie. So we just had our uh, share of pasties. We're gonna go under the lift bridge one more time to avoid the, the Uper loop rather than going the other way. So we're gonna, <clears throat> the other way takes a little bit longer to get through. So. We're gonna come up through town and then roll around, go across the bridge, over to the grocery store, grab some beer and root beers and have on our way. Here's Mount Ripley. It's one of my favorite places to ski. I absolutely love <clears throat> hanging out at Ripley. Good steeps, lots of snow. It's awesome for, a, uh, for an afternoon powder session. We're gonna go nice and slow so everyone can 
stay with us. Looks like we got Ryan behind us. And probably somebody behind him. But <clears throat> we are almost off the bridge and officially onto the Copper Island. There is no longer any landmass connecting the tip of the Keweenaw here to the rest of the UP. So it's pretty cool. old mining town and this is where this was the like the working class town the copper that they pulled out of Kelly Met just north of here that we're gonna be going through it's much at a high much higher um, proportion of copper for every ton of material that they pulled out they made money like crazy compared to down here in Hancock like at the Quincy Mine they had to really work the technological advances and stay on top of their game to make sure that they were efficient and making money with the mine. Oh what were you guys just doing? Shoving beer in the car? 66 cans of beer in the car. <laughs> 66 cans of beer. A responsible amount of drinking. And we can share. <laughs> it's the vlog. Devil horns. We're still cruising through Kelly Matt. Lots of snow here. Look at these snow banks. I mean, they are sometimes they're 10 feet tall around here. We've got lots of old mining buildings. This was like the mining capital. This is where the largest portion of copper came out. And this once was actually in the running to be the capital of Michigan. I think it was just a little bit too far out. You can see some of the history just in the in their schools here. I mean this very elaborate, beautiful buildings. And this is even cooler. Just look down the road. I mean it is look at all the snow. That's what we love to see. We get more snow up here usually than down in Houghton. Higher elevation, climb up the hill, where that lake effect drops. I mean, just evident, literally, people's yards are just totally buried. It's a pretty special place. We are coming up to Kearsarge here. This is the, really, it's the home of where everything started, where Shaggy used to carve skis. Just past Kelly Mount, we just went through Centennial. You'll see in the distance here that white sign out there. That is the hut. That's where it's where Past Central is located. You got an old mine shaft, hoist house over there, and just rolling into Kearsarge. Down that street, Wolverine Street, is where the family lived. And pretty soon here, we are going to see the stone boat, kind of like the, the cool thing. When I was young, I used to, used to come and play on it. We'd ride bikes down to uh, Wolverine Market and get, a, get some penny candy at the store. We had all these old, cool bikes that my grandma had in the, uh, under the house. So we'd always dig them up every summer and ride down here. So, the boat is slightly covered with snow there. And uh, there is the Wolverine Market where we used to ride to. Looks like we got a call. We're hey, vlogging currently. We're just driving through Kearsarge. Jeff. What's up? Did you buy all the pickled eggs as a dog? I did not. Yes, you gonna get some? <laughs> yeah, we gotta stop. That's right. You better get there before 2. Well, we're supposed to get to Mount Bohemia at 2.30, so I reckon we'll make it there. You will make it there, just barely. Barely. We'll sneak it in, hey. You got it. Hey, the speed limit's 65 in the UP now. Hey, exactly. Except not here, it's 50. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, that's man. No, but we, we just went through Kearsarge and passed the uh, old boat. The boat? The boat. 
Oh, I can't wait to be passing the boat at oh. two in the morning. Oh yeah, it's a it's a good feeling. But I tell you what, great. it's like 7:30 now. Doesn't feel any yeah. different than past years when we've gotten here at like two in the morning. <laughs> Is it still pitch black? Yeah. It doesn't matter. We had a. Uh, Oh, Dave didn't make the vlog. Dave is already coordinating on the ground all of the locations. He is in. So Dave, when you're Dave watching this, hurt? oh yeah, he skied today. Nice. Said the snow is good and soft in the outer limits and extreme backcountry. It stayed below freezing, so that is exactly what we want to see. Oh, Aloe, Aloise, popping through here. One more gas station, Copper City, down the road. And we are officially in Keweenaw County. We are talking, vlogging, and driving all at once. <laughs> this is the vlog episode 15. Can I hear that from, uh, can you two sync up and say it's the 15th episode? Who's syncing up? You and Seth. Oh, Seth. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> we almost got it. Oh man. Yeah, so you better get some get some pickled eggs. Yep. If for any reason the dog doesn't have them, you can go to the B and B. B and B has possibly the best pickled eggs. Oh, and there's the road sign for Amik. Amik means beaver in Ojibwe. And this is what our flagship ski's named after. Not a whole lot here anymore, but it used to be a mining town. Lots of ghost towns up here in the Keweenaw. The Phoenix, the Cliff View Bar, a great spot if you're snowmobiling. Same thing here. That one's the Vansville Bar. So you can see some snowmobilers going in there right now. You can get fuel at that one. And uh, no, not a whole lot of stuff until we until we make our turn onto uh, Lac Lebeau Road, just past Delaware, but let's look on the map here. Looks like we're about 17 minutes out, we'll be there at eight o'clock. We have made this like an eight hour trip, which should be a six and a half, oh, but. what did I say yesterday? Eight hours? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we stopped for dinner. We stopped to wait for people. We stopped for lunch. Always do. Always do. It, it depends, I mean, like if it's, if it's just two people going up and you're on point, you can definitely do it quicker, but if it's so us, experience the journey. That's right. The journey, not the just the end point. That's right, we had to get a sweet roll and uh, like a peanut butter chocolate energy bar from the Hilltop restaurant in Lantz. We are like 10 minutes out. Four minutes or so to our turn. Oh, cannot wait. It is dark. They love the Q&A. It actually gets dark. This is not like lights off in the distance. This is just straight up dark. On a clear day, you can see the Milky Way and just all sorts of stars. It's awesome. Here we go. About to turn on to Lac LeBeau Road. The final jaunt. Ah, oh, yeah. This is cool. <laughs> And we're on. You can always tell how plowed up this guardrail is, how good it is. And it's gonna be fun. We're gonna be searching for some snow, but that's what it's all about. Sure, we love the the easy pickings. There's no doubt about that. But finding all the good snow in the woods. Stephanie won't be skiing this year, but she'll be checking out the Nordic Spa. We are almost rolling up to Boho. Anyone who's been here knows this last little stretch of road. One big curve. An infamous left-hander. Yeah. There's a guardrail. Lots of pain on it. Lots of pain, lots of people. Chucking her into the uh, into the guardrail, but we're going nice and slow, take it easy. Get there in one piece, you know. Actually kind of feels like we're at a mountain now. In Michigan. This is the best part. And we are here. Yay. Oh yeah. Boom. Made it. 
that just happened. <laughs> we better get a view of that Bohemian sign. <laughs> 801 clock. Dave's now on the Dave's vlog. Yeah. It's a party now. No, get that away from me. <laughs> Making her main shot on the vlog. You're really nice up hat. close and personal. It's okay, we'll uh, <laughs> What do we got here? We have Dave, the legend. Where's that name tag? The oh, legend. there he is. Oh. Hi. Get all the posters. We got sideburns. Sideburns McGee, we got this one, we got this one, we got this one. Hey Jeff, we are here for Shaggy's Family Vacation 2020, third annual. And we got Norm in there. Look, he's got a beard, man. Norm, how old are you? How old are you? So yeah, I think this would probably be a great spot. We are going to, look at the Nordic spot. You wanna go, you wanna get in there? Oh, come on, there's a pool. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna put one right here. We're getting some zip ties. My father does right there. John, I got the zip ties. Come on, buddy. What is of now officially Shaggy's family vacation? Saw you. Wow. So we've got Ryan here. You taking a celebrity shot? For the win? Oh. You can take one if you want. I haven't played this game for years. Neither is Jeff, he was killing it. We have these custom beer pong skis. They may or may not have cups that actually stick to them. Yep. AKA the Bryce Martin Pro Model. Metal cores. Metal in the cores. I don't see that ever. Come on, explain. Wow. On. Hammer time. You got to sit. Stop. No, wow. Hammer time. Yeah. Break it down. Do, 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 well, this is called a heck of a lot of rocker. Okay. That's technology. No camber. No camber. Straight rocker. And uh, we pin the tail a little bit compared to the current tubby. And uh, added a couple of centimeters. These are 188s. So the current one's 186. So nobody skied them yet. Beautiful ski. Let us know how they turn out tomorrow. All right. Thanks, Ryan. You like, you like the place in there? Fish skier. No, no, but it's Up below yours. <laughs> Up yours. Godfish. <laughs>